this quote is from Robin Sharma's excellent book, The 5 AM Club, which he recently released this year. I'm going to leave an affiliate link for that book in the show notes for this podcast. Let me read you a quote from the book. Procrastination is an act of self-hatred. You know? Really? Asked the artist. Absolutely. If you really loved yourself, you relinquish all of your feelings of not being good enough to be great and renounce all slavery to your weakness. You'd stop focusing on your deficiencies and and celebrate your amazing qualities. Just think about it. There is no person on the planet today that has the unique stack of gifts that you have. Actually, in all history, there's never been even one person exactly like you. And there never will be. Yes, you're that special. That's an indisputable fact. So embrace the full force of your lavish talent, luminous strengths, and breathtaking powers. Let go of the destructive habit of breaking the commitments you make to yourself. Failing to keep self-promises is one of the reasons why so many of us don't love ourselves. Not following through on what we will tell ourselves we'll do so destroys our sense of personal worth and dissolves our self-esteem. Keep behaving like that and the unconscious part of your will begin to believe you're not worth anything. We always perform in a way that is aligned with the way we see ourselves. And so our thinking creates our results and the less we value ourselves and our powers, he went on, the less power we have access to. Wonderful, wonderful quote. These are my thoughts here. We all procrastinate. It primarily affects me personally when it comes to my creative efforts. I have so much to offer, but I procrastinate because I don't feel as I'm not getting recognized for putting in the work. I know better than that, but it feels good to say. Why is recognition important to me? Is it my ego? Was I told once, you're great. Do I now expect it all the time? I like to ask these questions because I think questions, um, the deeper you and you drill down with questions, uh, the answers come to the surface, you know. Is producing content worthwhile if one is making a living from it? At that point, isn't creativity being forced? Regular creation is fun, but who wants to be pressured to produce what sells? This is not a bad thing, it's just my preference. My content doesn't get many views or listens, and I ask myself, what is success? Uh, What number is good enough? Who am I comparing myself to? Comparison is a thief of joy, is a quote that comes to mind. What happened to doing something because you love it? I love creating, and I'm not looking for likes, views, listens, but in some aspect I am. It motivates me to continue. Looking back at my body of work that I've been building for the last three to five years uh, is another motivator. What's the difference between this being, this podcast, this blog, this video, uh, being a creative scratch to itch or a lifelong endeavor? Why am I doing any of this? I'm making this digital photo album of my life so that I can look back on it later and see all the cool stuff I've done. The bonus would be encouraging others to do the same. When I release audio content, I like to make short videos of it all, but I again procrastinate because it may take too long to produce, then I won't be able to publish another weekly podcast. Guilt arises, and then I feel as if I'm not living up to my potential. This is all born from advice I've received from multiple virtual mentors, uh, which I follow, whether that be through podcasts or through YouTube videos that I watch. Some of that advice being uh, produced weekly and uh, same date and time may become part of someone's routine. Another piece of advice is give your content away for free. Don't expect anything in return and you won't be disappointed. Another piece of advice, uh, it takes up to 10 plus years to be recognized if ever. Uh, The final piece of advice uh, is stop listening to everybody and just do the work. I ran into conflict here. What should I do? blindly go with this advice because it resonates with me or ask does this really work for me am I open to change this has led me down a path of indecision anxiety and frustration multiple times the first step to stop this form of self-hatred is to remove the pressure of publishing on a schedule take a break when needed especially if you are cooking up new content which is often the case um, this is me kind of talking to myself but I hope to, that you can glean some information if you're in a similar place right now in your life 
podcasters I regularly follow uh, take have taken several months off. On a recent episode of the Video Creators YouTube channel, I heard Tim Schmoyer say how one view is an actual person who sat and consumed your content. When I look at it like that, 5 to 10 to 20 views is a lot of people looking at my material. If I'm in a room with 10 to 20 people giving me their full attention for however many minutes, that's incredible in itself. Sometimes I'm so in the weeds and that I don't see the bigger picture. A great exercise is to write down all the activity you've done in the day for a period of time. Let's say three days or one week or something. Uh, and there one can see exactly how much time was put into producing content. When you come to find out, you'll see you haven't been procrastinating at all, but laying down the next brick to the house that you're building. Done is better than perfect.